Allow Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah Ba Hashem Waha Rukwa Kadash Devil Honest to the Elder Apostles of Great Millstone who rule well who taught us the truth Shalom and salutation to the Akim the hopeful elect spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth and presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice as the scriptures do say Shalom to the few sisters that do listen to us as well this is Brother Yarmar from the Great Millstone Chicago camp man and basically coming to you with another lesson I was watching the brother he did a video um, I think that page is GMS 144 Awakening. Um, I could be mistaken. I think it was the brother, um, Amawan Gabar out there in the New York camp, out there at the main camp. Um, but yeah, man, it's, um, basically, we're just going to go into it, man. Hey, why is the Bible, the Bible is, um, being, um, banned. And basically, not only being banned, it's, uh, being classified as an assault weapon in the state of California. All right, going right into the scripture like the brother went to that Amos 8 and 11. It's going to be a famine of the word, man. And this is not because the Bible is a fabricated story, all right, like these idiots. You got these dickheads out in the black conscious community that say the, the Bible is fabricated. No, this is the law, statutes, and commandments, the history of the Israelites, the past, present, and future of the true Israelites, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. The futures of the other nations, the Edomites, the so-called white people, the Moabites, the Chinese people, the Ishmaelites, the, uh, the, the Arabs, the, the Africans, the Hamites, which we are not. All right, you have some Israelites still over there, all right, in, in, in certain countries, but uh, we, we, we ain't the damn Hamites of the Bible, man. The blacks in America are, are the Israelites, man. The blacks on this side of the world are the, it's the southern kingdom of Israel you read about in this Bible. Benjamin, Judah, and Levi, all right. But with that being said, man, hey, this is this is beautiful, all right? Because we know they're going to condemn us. We know they're going to persecute us. They know they're going to judge us, all right? Try to take away, hey, man, you can't change what's going on in the, uh, the earth, all right? There's a transition of a kingdom happening. And that's why the so-called white man is, is speaking on taking away this Bible. Because he sees his kingdom being turned, all right? So he has to, he has to do something. All right, the Most High is gonna call his bluff, though. He he, he gonna he, hey, Amen. Matter of fact, let me get to the scriptures real quick. This is um Sirach or Ecclesiastes in the Apocrypha, ten and eight. It says because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. All right, and that's what's happening. That's what you see right now, beginning with us. All right, spreading this gospel, all right, across the internet, all right, preaching on the corners, all right, starting with the elders and the apostles on down and the men before them, all right, that was that transfer, that was that power shift happening in the world, and the so-called white man sees these prophecies being fulfilled, all right, this is wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1, it said, then shall the righteous stand great in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor, and that's what you're seeing right now. All right, this is why the Bible is classified as an assault rifle, like it says in the book of Hebrews, and the brother brought that out in this video. Hey, it said this, 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 this word is a two-edged sword, all right? We destroying him, uh, I think that's the book of Thessalonians, we destroying him with the glory and the brightness of his coming, man, starting with the teaching of his word. This is brightness, man. I always said these people are fucking roaches, man. You put the lights on, they scattered everywhere. Oh, with the lights on, dark, and this is the light. This is the word, the scripture says that uh, the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the t is the, tes the testimony of Yahweh Shai, what is, is it a prophecy? Yahweh Shai, who the world falsely called Jesus, said he's the way, the truth, and the light. This is the light that's being, just being casted on this filthy ass kingdom. And all these little roaches and rodents and crap, they're going everywhere, man. So they can only condemn us, alright? But this is what you're seeing, alright? Uh, wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1 again Then shall the righteous stand in great boldness Before the face of such as have afflicted him And made no account of his labors When they see it they shall be troubled with fear They shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation Far beyond all they looked for Alright in the end of that salvation Us being saved Alright cause nobody saved yet We we hopefully the elect We hopefully endure But hey us looking for that salvation goes with what the white man calls UFOs. He hates the fact that, starting with the elder apostles on down, we bringing that out, man. He had great millstone. He hates the fact that we preach about that because for, for so long he called them the unidentified flying objects. All right. 
but we identified them in the Bible. This is just a, 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 a nugget, all right, of um, the things that um, this covering, this discovering casted upon the earth, the, this, this so-called white man is hid. But everything that he's hid, all right, his whole personnel, him being the Edomites, I write of the Bible, his true nationality, I write his true race. We're exposing all that. And we can only do that because we have the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah on us. All right. Let me get this scripture real quick. We 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 know through the spirit and power Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah that the arrows shot from one place to this other to another in the scriptures are the ICBM missiles which are soon to fall on this kingdom. He has to ban the Bible, man. All right, he ain't banned and commit. Ain't no truth in commit. Ain't no truth in Islam. The only uh, uh, a piece of truth you will find in Islam is, is when it tells the Israelites to return to their God. All right, that shit is folly, man. This is um, this going to the UFOs real quick. This is Isaiah 26 and uh, 20. It says, "Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers." And shut the doors about thee, and hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be past. And that, and it is going into the UFOs, and it's going to the intercontinent, the, the ICBM holocaust that's about to happen. This 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 wipeout that's about to happen of America. That's the indignation that's going to pass over this place and wipe it out. All right. This is why the Bible has to be banned, because these things are coming out. How the things that Esau sought out. All right, as the scriptures say. This is Isaiah 26 and 21. It said, Behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. How is he going to come out? He's going to come in his glory with his chariots. Thousands and thousands of chariots. The earth shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. The so called white man is going to be exposed. All right, whether he likes that or not. All right, and this place will be purged. Thus said the Lord, thus said the Holy Bible, which the so-called white man has sought out to ban because cause his trickery, his trickery is being exposed. All right. Let me see. This is, um, oh, uh, man. Let me see. I'm trying to find the scripture real quick. It shall be found with me. The words I made for a point of time. That's what made that. Which man shall be tried. Shall be made right now. Okay, here it goes, Salaki. This is Daniel 12 and 4. I knew it was in Daniel. This is Daniel 12 and 4. It says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. See, right now the knowledge is being increased. You got to understand. It was a whole period of time where, where, the, where the Israelites, you know, couldn't even read. Couldn't even understand certain language. Couldn't even understand the language that we was enslaved in. Now, I always tell you people. All right, in these videos, we were force-fed Christianity. We were murdered and lynched for reading the Bible because this is our heritage, man. The Bible is banned because Esau see these prophets, these prophecies out here, and these prophecies coming to pass. All right, this is um Daniel. Um, this is Daniel twelve, and this is the ninth verse, same chapter. It said. And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for thy words are closed up and sealed until the time of the end. Hey, and now it's open. All right? <laughs> it's being revealed through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay? And this so called white man is being exposed. All right? And there's nothing he could do about it. He could do whatever he wants to us. All right? If whatever the Lord allows him to do. All right? Because it's all of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. But hey, he can't stop the train. All right, we couldn't stop it, and we the apple of the Lord's eye. 
how much more this um, degenerate Esau, which is the least to say about him. You know, his rap sheet speaks volumes. But hey, I'm going to grab this one. This is, um, let me grab this one. This is 2nd Ezra's 6 and verse 8. Matter of fact, verse 7. This is 2nd Ezra 6 and 7. It said, Then I answered and said, What shall be the parting and son of the times? When shall the end when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him. Jacob is saying he'll first the hill of Esau. And you can read about that in the book of Genesis. Just look up Jacob and Esau. But this is the prophecy on it, and this is the purpose of it. In verse 9, it said, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. So Esau is the end of this world. Esau is the end of this age. This is the last kingdom to rule, all right, before the Lord comes back pursuant to the book of Obadiah, all right? And, and one thing it does say in the book of Obadiah is how are the things that Esau sought out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's how. So with that being said, all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. I hope this video was edifying. And hey, man, they got hell to pay for, man. But they're going to try to ban this book because this is our book. All right, the true Israelites are the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And our elective youth should wake up. And the ones that's already woke, keep pushing. Shalom.